Gaston sneezing. Mummy, Daddy, Gaston the ladybird's caught a cold. I'm not surprised. His cave is leaking. Look. Hmm. There's a hole here. Maybe if we move that pebble over it. Good day. Good day, wise old elf. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Gaston's cave is leaking. Hmm. Leaks can be tricky. What you need is a proper builder to fix it. But where can we find a builder? I'm the builder. Really? Oh, yes. Elves are very good at building. And I'm an elf. <laughs> In that case, I command you to fix Gaston's cave. Yes, Your Majesty. A wise decision. Hmm, interesting. There seems to be water dripping in. Yes, and there's a hole up here. <laughs> that hole won't be the cause of the leak. How do you know? With respect, some things are best left to proper builders. So how long will it take to fix the leak? Oh, it will take a very, very long time. <laughs> And while the building work is going on, the ladybird won't be able to live here. But Gaston's got a cold. Where can he stay? Well, perhaps Gaston could stay with us. Yippee! Are you sure you know what you're doing, darling? Oh, of course I know what I'm doing. I'm king. <laughs> <laughs> Time. Oh, I'm afraid insects are not allowed inside the castle. It's all right, Nanny Plum. Daddy's invited Gaston to stay with us. Oh, very well then. Make yourself at home, Gaston. <laughs> Gaston, Gaston, ladybird. I hope he's going to learn to wipe his feet. Gaston isn't well, Nanny. <laughs> and he hasn't got anywhere to stay. I'm still not sure it's a good idea for him to stay with us. Don't worry, darling. Gaston will be no trouble at all. So, where is he going to sit? He can sit on this little chair. <coughs> Nanny Plum, you can speak, Ladybird. <coughs> What's he saying? Gaston says this chair is too little. <gasps> no! That's the Queen's chair! Oh, don't fuss, Nanny Plum. The Queen doesn't mind, do you, darling? <coughs> Gaston says this chair is too hard. <clears throat> Actually, Gaston, that's my chair. <coughs> Gaston says this chair is just right. Goodness, it's like having Goldilocks to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, Daddy. You can sit on this little chair. Yummy. Thanks, Nanny. Yes, this food is delicious. I suppose I'd better magic up some special ladybird food. By a ladybird's growl, food smelly and foul. Look, smelly welly. <laughs> Gaston loves smelly food. Uh, why isn't he eating it then? Gaston says it's too cold. Uh, hello, Gaston. Daddy, I think he wants to try your food. Mm. Have a little taste if you like, Gaston. Gaston says it's just right. Having Gaston visit us, can he stay with us forever and ever, Daddy? Uh, maybe not forever, but he can stay until his house is mended. Oh, goody! Oh. And the weather.
over in the little kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Look, King Thistle, Gaston's getting better. Wow, splendid. And the pixie pound has seen a drop uh, uh, to the um, dollar. Gaston says that this TV programme is a bit boring. How about this one? And this programme's too noisy. Hmm. Aww. This programme is just right. <laughs> Look, Daddy. Gaston's not sneezing anymore. So, uh, now Gaston's better, maybe he can go home. But, Daddy, Gaston can't go home until his home is mended. He might catch another cold and then he'll be sad. Yes, we wouldn't want Gaston to be sad. Gaston says you are the nicest king in the whole world. Thank you, Gaston. Uh, maybe I'll go and see how the elves are getting on at your cave. Hello, wise old elf. How much longer is this going to take? As we builders say, there's no point in rushing things. Well, maybe a little rushing wouldn't do any harm. I'm afraid we have a lot of problems to deal with, Your Majesty. Uh, it's probably a silly idea, but have you tried moving that pebble over the hole? <laughs> You're right. That is a silly idea. Maybe it's still worth a try? With respect, Your Majesty, we each have our jobs to do. You're the king, and I'm the builder. Of course. It's been a long day. I think I'll go to bed early. Uh, Your Majesty, that might be a problem. What do you mean? Well, it's to do with Gaston. Yes? Nanny magic to this basket for Gaston to sleep in. Well done, Nanny. But the basket was too drafty. Hmm. Then he tried my bed, but that was too soft. Oh dear, I don't like the sound of this. Don't worry, Daddy. Gaston's found a bed that he says is just right. Oh, look, that's my bed. What's he saying now? Gaston says he is very tired and would like to go to sleep now. Good night, Gaston. Sleep tight. So, where are we going to sleep? Oh, that was the most uncomfortable night ever. Oh, how long is Gaston going to stay with us? I did say he could stay here until his cave was mended. And how long will that take? I don't know. Let's go and see how those elves are getting on. Hello, have you fixed Gaston's cave yet? Gaston really misses his home, wise old elf. Good news. We've replaced the rotting wood, plastered the ceiling and fixed the leak. No, not yet. But I'm sure in time we'll sort it out. Have you just tried moving this pebble? Ugh. Hooray! King Thistle's mended Gaston's cave. Well done, Daddy. Amazing work, Your Majesty. Have you ever thought of becoming a builder yourself? Uh, actually, no. I think I'll just stick to being king. Look, Gaston, your cave's ready. You can go home now. Gaston says thank you and bye-bye. Bye-bye, Gaston. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Gaston. It was fun having you to stay. We'll be so sad to see you go. Gaston says he doesn't want you to be sad, so he'll come and stay with you for a bit longer. It's okay. I won't be that sad. Gaston insists, Your Majesty. Very well. Lovely. There. Fully wound up.
Let's set off to the seaside. But, Dad, we have to wait for Princess Holly. Well, where is she? It's almost nine o'clock. Dum dee dum dee doo doo dum dee. Where is Holly? Relax, Mr. Elf. We're on holiday. But Princess Holly's late. Fairies are always late. Dum dee dum. Hi, Ben. Oh, hi, Holly. I'm not too early, am I? No, Princess Holly. You're just in time. <clears throat> now we're all here. Let's go. We might make the seaside by lunchtime. If you want to get to the seaside quickly, I could try magicking us there. Um, I'd rather you didn't do any magicking today, Holly. Oh, sorry, Mr. Elf. You see, Holly, you're coming on an elf day trip. Elves don't do magic. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. Hop in, everyone. Seaside, here we come. Here's the timetable. One o'clock, eat lunch. Two, play in the sand. Three, tidy up. Four, leave Seaside, arriving home at 4.30 precisely. Dad, it's a holiday. Sorry, Ben. It's just that I'm not used to having a day off. You work too hard, Mr. Elf. Please try and relax today. <sighs> I'll do my best, Mrs. Elf. Here we are, the seaside. Yippee! The sea! And sand! <laughs> oh, I love the seaside. Come on, let's have lunch. Good idea. I'm hungry. Me too. Here's our picnic basket. Ooh, I love picnic baskets. You just tell them what you want and they magic up food. <laughs> this is an elf picnic. There won't be any magic. Oh. Mrs. Elf always makes a really lovely picnic. Thanks, Mr. Elf. But of course you made the picnic this time. Didn't you make it? Uh, oh. What's wrong? We forgot to bring the picnic. We just brought an empty basket. But that's what I was saying. We fairies always take an empty basket on picnics. Magic basket, please. Can I have, um, spaghetti bolognese? Oh, it's still empty. That's because... It isn't a magic basket. It's just an empty basket. Can't it even magic us a packet of crisps? No. Oh. Uh, Holly, remember what I said about not needing any magicking today? Yes, Mr. Elf? Well, this is an emergency. So if you wouldn't mind doing a bit of... Magicking! You want me to do magicking? Yes, yes please. please. Hmm, I do know a spell for... Magic jelly? <gasps> no, not magic jelly! Right, too dangerous. Hmm, I could try an ice cream spell. That's easy. And there's no chance of that spell going wrong? Silly, Ben. Spells nearly always go a bit wrong. That's what makes them fun. Well, without magic, we're not going to have anything to eat. That's right. Please, Holly, do your spell. Abracadabra! Ice cream! Hooray! I'm afraid it's only vanilla. I don't know how to magic other flavours yet. That's fine. Vanilla is my favourite. <laughs> Delicious! Maybe magic can be useful sometimes. Thank you, Princess Holly. <laughs> You're welcome. Ah, what shall we do next? Make sandcastles! I love making sandcastles. Hmm, what's a spell for sandcastles? Holly, you don't need a spell to make sandcastles. You fill the bucket with sand, turn it over, give it a tap, and bingo, a sandcastle. Cool, can I have a go? Ho, 
Ho, ho, ho. We'll make an elf of you yet, Holly. Can we build a castle big enough for us to go inside? <laughs> we need a huge bucket to make a sandcastle that big. Uh, like that one? That's a very huge bucket. It must have been left by big children. There aren't any big people here now. Good thing. Big people have big feet and you never know where they're going to step. Look, they've left some spades. Let's build a big sandcastle for Princess Holly. It can be our thank you for lunch. Good idea, Mr Elf. Can I help? No, no, no. Please just relax and enjoy watching elves doing what elves do best. What do elves do best? Elves are best at making things. And we're, we're elves. Heave-ho, heave-ho, dig-ho, dig-dig-ho, dig-dig-dig-dig-ho. Princess Holly, would you do the honours by tapping the bucket? <laughs> lift ho, lift ho. Bingo! Can we go inside? But there isn't a door. I'll soon sort that out. <laughs> There's your door. <laughs> Since this is our very own castle, I've decided I'm not Princess Holly anymore. I am Queen Holly. And I am King Ben. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, it's almost home time. Oh, Dad, can't we stay in the castle a little bit longer? But the tide will be coming in soon and... Please, Mr Elf, please can we stay a bit? Just a little bit, then. We'll pack the car, but you must come when we call you. Yes, Mum. We promise. Oh, look, the sea is coming closer. That's great. Soon the castle will have a moat. Oh, Holly almost left her wand behind. Talking of Holly, let's fetch the children. I don't want to go home. I want to stay in our castle forever and ever. Oh, goodness. Look how high the sea is. Ben, Holly, leave the castle now. We can't leave. The sea's too high. Holly, you can fly to the shore. OK. No, it's too windy to fly. Uh, Holly, maybe it's time to do a little... Magic. Yes, I'll just wave my wand and... Oh, where's my wand? Here's your wand, Holly. I can throw it to you. But what if it falls in the sea? Don't worry, Holly. Mrs Elf is very good at throwing things. And I'm great at catching. <laughs> OK. Don't worry, wand. Ben will catch you. Ready, Ben? Yes, Ma. One, two, three, throw! Hooray! Thanks, Ben. Now for a magicking bit. Sun, sea and sand. Put Ben and me on dry land. you back, Wand. I knew Ben would catch you. Thanks, Holly. And I knew you could magic us to safety. Yes, the rescue was a perfect mix of fairy magic and elf skill. Here's the elf skill. And here's 